What's going on? How y'all doing tonight? The video going to be about that old racist Louisville cop who's suing Breonna Taylor's boyfriend because he's talking about he's got emotional distress. <laughs> I'm like, this idiot's got to be like one of the dumbest jive turkeys I know. He's having emotional drama. He kills the woman and he's going to sue a boyfriend because he knows he's getting that, getting that bag. And he's somehow offended. When he should be locked up. How is it that you're going to sue the boyfriend when you are responsible for her murder? And the lame sellout Shuck and Buck, a uh, prosecuting attorney general, who sold his soul and his blackness to appeal to Trump and to appeal to a racist rhetoric in Louisville, Kentucky, then gave him a green light. To act self-loathing and say it's okay. And no one will. This Louisville can, uh, the sergeant needs to have been fired, arrested, charged. And it's embarrassing. And he shows his smug white privilege that he's even contemplating this, this suit. Talking about he's having emotional distress. Hmm, that's a new one. That's really comical. You know, that's what is fashionable to say that with that with a straight face. He uh lucky he ain't buried under the cell for this one. They killed Brianna Tiller. They lynched her. They murdered her. She was a central worker. No just cause. A $12 million lawsuit tells you. Let me tell this white piece of trash cop something that did this mess. Do you really think they're handing out $12 million for black folks who've been victims of racial profile injustice? Do you really think that's what they do? Because they wouldn't rather look the other way and hope it goes away than to pay. I will tell anybody, white America ain't never paid black people what they really owe. And this is just another situation where there's more too should been should have happened. But when you have a racist system that's used their powers and their privilege to hide and duck and hide for so long, this is what you get, unfortunately. And then you get this idiot who comes out with his smugness talking about, well, I feel like I'm oppressed and I'm a victim and I'm going to sue them because they're messing with my, my... No, you put yourself in a situation. You kill that woman and you're shot and you're lucky that you live in a white country that's racist, systematic institution that they feel sorry to cuddle you. They feel sorry to allow you to, to go on with your white ways and to never have to say you're sorry for killing someone black because you have that hate built in and that you work in a system that allows that to happen. Oh, yeah, I went there because the police force wasn't racist and wasn't uh, built the way it is. We wouldn't be having any discussions. You don't get to kill black people knowingly who are born in this country unless you get the green light. And they've been getting the green light for over 400 years. Slave catchers, dog catchers, how you want to call it, is what they do. This idiot, <laughs> this makes me shake my head. He needs his mental, he needs to be mentally uh, evaluated. But you see how little regard he has for black folks. How little regard. You got to pay. They're going to, the $12 million. You talking about your mental distress. Psst. What do you think Breonna Taylor's family is feeling? You sit up and walk around and getting three meals and living your best life. Think about it. What's my thoughts and takes about uh, Breonna Taylor's boyfriend being sued by some old lame racist cop talking about mental distress? Give me your thoughts and your takes. Hit the like and subscribe to the bell. Rings a new video. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. And 
You see the white privilege runs over the cup. No one is there to pull it out. No one is there to tell them enough's enough. 